You having fun, Zavi? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Melissa Mango here. And Zavi and I are inside Jelly Beans, which is located in Santa Cruz. And it's a kids' clothing and toy uh, resale shop. And this is beautifully organized and has wonderful things to offer. But let me show you what it has. It has everything from infant things. Anyone that's welcoming a new baby in the world, you can come here and buy things that have been really well taken care of. Lots of onesies, which are a dollar or something a piece, very inexpensive. Cloth diapers galore, baby mills, boppies, all beautiful, no stains. Really cute clothing, because you know that babies don't really tear up their clothing. <laughs> we have puzzles and new hats and nursing blankets. I mean, you could put together a really nice gift basket for a new mama here for really inexpensive. We have tights and bears and little hats, some really cute things. And then we get into the kids section for toddlers. Um, lots of games and instruments and toys. Some really old favorites here. I don't know if you remember this from the 80s. Um, just some cute things. And what they do is people come here, like Zavi and I, and we bring toys that he's no longer playing with or that he may have got double from um, Christmas or whatever. And we bring it here and we exchange it or get cash for things that he's into. So we also bring clothing here that he's grown out of that are still in great condition and toys. And then he can get something new now. And that recycles things back into the community and also saves a lot of money because kids grow really fast and um, their interests change. And so instead of spending money on new things, we come here and get things that are gently used and well taken care of. So let me show you what else they have that I thought was interesting. Zavi got a toy computer for Christmas once, and it's right over here. And on the shelf, this costs twenty dollars new. Okay. And guess how much this one is here at this resale shop? Still looks new. It is six ninety nine. Can you believe that? So that's a huge savings. And kids don't know that things have been used before. They are still interested um, in getting things that are new to them. So you could wrap it up nicely and gift it. Um, you can also exchange the toys that you have for your children. Other cool things that they have here are step stools and sit and spins and potty training chairs, diaper genies. I mean, a whole library for kids' books. All that have been gently used and well taken care of and now that can go to a new home. And they also have like baby swings that are still cushy and plush and beautiful, no stains. <laughs> and there's also, when we walked in, we noticed a wall of strollers still in beautiful condition. What's up, Sami? What'd you find? Oh yeah? What's up? Oh, he wants me to come inside. This is a little play area for kids. All right. The other good thing that this um, shop has, it has um, not only clothing for little kids, but it goes up until like size five, size 10. Um, they have baby bathtubs. It looks like they have a bunch of jackets that are hardly used. They have um, rain boots and snowshoes and, and it seems like, I talked to the owner and they have quite a bit of new things coming in almost daily and um, all gently used, all well taken care of. Here's some more goodies. This stuff is expensive, brand new, and here it's a fraction of the cost. Oh look, we've got some cool dinosaur slippers and Elmo things, and your kid is just gonna love this stuff. So if you're in the gifting mood, instead of going down the street to the superstore, you can come to a place like this and support your community, but also support the environment by not purchasing things new, but just cycling back to the community and getting something that's been gently used. The other good thing about this shop is that they have a bunch of wood toys, um, both used and new. I really am a big fan of uh, wood toys because we all know that um, plastics are kind of toxic. They have petroleum and other things in them and your kid puts their mouth on them and plays with them. So wood is a little bit better because it doesn't have all that icky stuff in it. And also when plastic breaks, they usually get into a landfill or sent over to India and buried in someone else's backyard or floating in the ocean even. So with wood toys, if they break, because sometimes they do, um, 
they can be compostable or burned in your backyard or in your fireplace or something like that. So they're not going to you know, put toxins into the earth. Uh, what else would I love to share? Um, oh, they also have um, even baby carriers. Now, I bought a new one uh, before I came here when I had Zavi, and I spent almost 80 bucks on a new carrier. And then look at how many awesome carriers they have. All beautiful patterns, no stains, all beautiful. And these carriers are really nice, so they'll probably be used and then brought back again for another set of happy, happy parents. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching today. I hope this was inspiring for all of you parents out there and grandparents that instead of buying new things, just go to a local resale shop like this and buy something fabulously new for your family. So, we love you. Say bye, Zavi. Give me kisses. <laughs> oh, thank you.